Election day on Tuesday, the race for Oregon's governor is really heating up with all three candidates campaigning today and each vying for those undecided votes ahead of the midterms. Coin six is your local election headquarters in our Joelle Jones. She spent the day following those gubernatorial candidates and joins us live tonight with the very latest from the campaign trail out there. Hi, Joelle. Good evening, Wayne. And as the final hours of campaigning are winding down before voters get their say, the three candidates for Oregon's governor continue to sprint for those undecided votes. And how they spent their time is indicative of their strategies. With just roughly 24 hours before Election Day, all three candidates for Oregon's governor hit the road Sunday, sprinting for those final votes. We got a couple more days, folks. Thank you for being here. As the clock ticks down, Democratic candidate Tina Kotek kicked off canvassing with an event at the Lloyd Center in Portland, alongside support from Senator Ron Wyden and former Planned Parenthood President Cecile Richards. Kotek told supporters the state's values are on the line come Tuesday. We believe in reproductive freedom, do we not? Yeah. We believe in protecting our environment, do we not? Yeah. We believe in public education, do we not? Yeah. We believe in standing up for workers. Do we not? Yeah. Kotek, who has consistently supported abortion rights throughout her campaign, remains neck and neck with Republican candidate Christine Drazen in the polls. Drazen's team sent us this clip of her out on the campaign trail today. Well, 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 we can do this. We can turn the state around together, but only if we do this work together. Yeah. Let's get this done. Nearly 300 miles away, Drazen made stops in Medford and Salem as part of her Get Out the Vote tour. There, she urged supporters to help her turn the state around. Well, I think this weekend is everybody's big push, although our biggest push was last week. And fresh off the heels of her final statewide fly around, unaffiliated candidate Betsy Johnson was also busy on the campaign trail, circling back to meet with voters and local business owners here in Portland. But whether they're rural or urban, um, people want their state back. So one of my main goals is to get everybody back to the table. That's the beauty of an independent governor. And while many voters here in Oregon have already cast those votes, for those who haven't, it's important to note all ballots must be postmarked by 8 p.m. Tuesday. For any more details on your, our local candidates or how and when to vote, we have all those details, all that information for you at coin.com. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News.